everyone, I'm Stacy. Today I will tell you my own story, my long, long path from deep black hair to blonde. I will give you some tips and tricks I used to save my hair during the really traumatic procedure. Stay up to the end, it will be interesting. The moon always feeds the madness, and it's Welcome back to my channel, guys! I'm really, really glad you're here, and if you're new here, please take a welcome hug and join our family. First time I came up with a blonde passion when my second child was born. I was happy, but completely broken. I had serious lack of sleep, postpartum depression, and some problems with my whole look. And all these things gave me no hope for the better. And my mirror always whispered me that I, that I need, that I have to change something. And one day I realized that it should be my hair. That time I just wanted to return my natural ash brown hair with minimal damage, but I couldn't stop dyeing my hair because I have so many gray hair. The hair can just ruin everything. And so I've made a decision and finally bought the bleach. I've watched nearly a ton of different courses and videos showing how to remove the black dye out of your hair, how to bleach your hair carefully. I've watched and learned nearly everything about the hair tones, about different volume developers, about the influence of hair dye and bleach to our hair. So I can even call myself a home expert because it's not just useless knowledge. I've tried this, all this stuff on my own hair. I did a lot of experiments and it is still alive. It is still shiny and soft. So when I started, my hair was in terrible condition, if talking about the color. It was very long and soft and I used to dye it with a black pox tie of second level of tone. No, 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 not all the time, once I've tried to dye it with a, with a professional dye. I did it without any bleach and it was my biggest mistake because the result was terrible. My old head was in spots and stripes. They were multiple ginger spots and some black spaces left and some reddish oranges. If you want to get the clean and pure color, never put on your hair the dye which is two tones lighter than your own tone or the tone you previously dyed without any bleach. Never repeat my mistake. So I was quite concerned about the quality of my soft and very, very long hair. So I bought 1000 milliliters of tan volume developer, one pound of bleach powder and a bottle of conditioner with 3.5 pH level. This need to end up the bleach process and stabilize the pH level on your own hair. So what I've got? Quite thick and shiny hair, dyed with a chip box tie on the second level of tone, 10 cm of virgin roots of the 7th level of tone, and about 50% of grey hair. A couple of weeks before bleaching I've started to do some natural masks uh, with natural oils cinnamon, bitter milk. All these things helps to make your hair stronger and ready enough for this quite damaging procedure. I washed my hair twice a week, putting on the organic mask the night before and washing it off in the morning using the shampoo with SLS because only this type of shampoo can help you to remove all the oils without leaving your hair sticky and oily. All these masks also help me to get rid of some black pigment in my hair. First time I dyed my hair with the help of my mom. And I advise you to ask some, somebody for help, because it's really, really difficult to control the situation yourself. We took the brush, gloves, a big 
all for bleach because oh. if your hair is quite long you will need a lot of bleach mixture at a time the process was so long but very exciting we tried to do everything as fast as possible not touching my roots this time i just wanted to remove this intense black pigment and lighten the length up to two levels at least and guys you should always be careful bleaching your hair actually i have three main rules which are very very important the first one never let it dry when the bleach starts to dry on your hair that is mean that it starts to take the moisture out of your hair that is really really damaging the second rule is when you see some hair parts are light enough but others are not then please take a wet towel and try to remove the dye from the lighter parts and it will help you not to ruin it and the third one never take 30 and 40 volume developers uh, bleaching your hair at home oh these were my rules and i think everyone should keep here in mind oh, i left the bleach on my hair for 40 minutes and all the procedure from the moment i've started took me about an hour or so then i washed it all off with the help of the deep cleaning shampoo or anti-dandruff shampoo will be okay too and then before the conditioner i rinsed it with the help of citric acid solution it is really really important to finish the bleaching process and uh, to neutralize the alkaline reaction on your hair and lead it to the 4.5 ph level i always use one teaspoon of citric acid to three or five liters of the warm water and in the end i use a 3.5 ph conditioner the result was kind of funny and strange but it was only the first step my hair was ginger and black and so i waited a couple of days and repeated the procedure again this time the result was a bit better all the black spots turned into red and orange and i was a bit closer to my dream some hairdressers advises to take a 20 volume developer for the better result and yes it could be faster but there is no guarantee that you are fast enough not to burn your hair down that is why i choose the longer way but it was quite safer i also advise you to do the blondie transformation in winter when you can hide the middle result under your hair and no one gonna see it so i did it for the third time and this time i've started to lose my patience that's why I did some terrible thing. I've put my hair ends under the foil. This is to create some warmth to make the whole process more intense. And my poor, poor hair boiled under these foils for at least 40 minutes. It was a really, really bad idea because when I put it off, it was completely fried. Some strands of hair looked like noodles, but I'm so lucky to have such strong and thick hair they just got over this killing process first time i did it without any foils and finally i've reached the desired seven level of tone and i was so very happy to turn this at last and this could be the end of my story but my hair was strong enough and I've decided to make it as light as possible. And I did it again. A month has passed after I did it last. And this time I took 20 volume developer. And the result was just amazing. Finally, oh my god, I was a real blondie. Nine level of tone, really beautiful. And I could dye it every color I want. I was so happy, oh my god. And it was the time to ask myself, should I stop here? No, of course not. Then I went to the 10 level of tone uh, with the help of super blondes. Yes, 
they could work on bleach hair. They can also give you a very very beautiful shade of eyes. And after a couple of months I faced another problem connecting with the blonde. The dye can stuck in the most damaged part of your hair creating yellow or dark spots. So sometimes you should do the bleach bath to clean the lens. This is one part of shampoo to one part of the developer and to one part of the bleach powder. You mix it all and apply it to your wet hair, checking it all the time very carefully. And as soon as you reach the desired result, you should wash it off immediately using the extra shampoo. So all in all, my hair was bleached for 8 times and they are still shiny and quite strong. This is mainly because of my hair treatment. And it is very, very simple. I will definitely make the video about my hair care routine. So stay tuned, guys. And the main thing I've learned uh, going through all this long journey is that you can't fix your hair if it is already damaged. You cannot make it healthy again. You can just create an illusion. You can fill the empty spaces and you will have to do it again and again. So it is very, very important to care about the quality of your hair, to fill its condition and to find the less damaging ways. So keep your hair safe. Love you. Bye.